Now, motion and planning. AI is heavily used in robotics. Localization is how robot know its location and map and its environment. When a give, given a small statics and visible environment, this is easy. However, dynamic environment such as endoscopy, interior of a patient's breathing body, a posture, greater challenge. So the motion planning is the process of breaking down a movement task into primitives such as individual joint moments. Such a moment often involves complaint motion, a process where the moments require maintaining physical contact with an object. Robots can learn from experience how to move efficiently despite the presence of the friction and gear slippage. So generally motion and planning is nothing but if we went to the doctors and the doctors would like to see in your stomach with the help of the endoscopy uh, binoculars or the instrument they use endoscopy to see inside the stomach with the help of the cameras and the AI motions and plannings or sensors we can say that now here it is a very here it is a uh, the motions play very important role while we doing the endoscopy if we use a joystick to rotate uh, endoscopy for one degree Celsius then we have to move endoscopy in very minute uh, what we called uh, displacement so it will give a rotation or displacement so that is a motion based sensations in robotics so we can understand that that is a uh, I will explain give another examples if we use the car and uh, if you uh, go in the first gear for four wheelers the cars will start start move slowly and take a speed but when it's happened when we give the acceleration with the slightly touch of the accelerators the car starting to take up acceleration and speed so this is the motion and planning play the important roles or the touching sensations play the important role in robotics so this is how they we use in robotics but there is one drawback when there is a lack of friction and lack of gear slippages this the motion can be abruptly changed its directions and velocity for example if i am if uh, just like a, a maruti 800 having a normal steering base instrumentations and while the new cars having the power steering so it's like a motions the power steering have much more accuracy and here you have less efforts and in manual steering you have to rotate much more and there have there is a lot of error occurs so this is how the robotics can be learned with the help of the friction and the gear slippages now the approaches currently there are many approaches that drives the ai research the there is no established AI research and researchers degree about many issues. There are many questions that are still unanswered. One of those questions is how relevant research in neurology and psychology is to research in AI and machine learning. For example, there is a little common between biology of birds with aeronautics. <laughs> It's a uh, generally what we call this is a totally unmatching the things, the motion and the approaches in which we can see this. I mean, a bird can fly, the aeroplane can we also fly. The birds have but biological order or biological or they are born to fly. But 
here we are human beings not want to fly so we use aircrafts so this is the how the little common between biology of the birds and the aeronautics in some scientists thinks that is the same in ai but some also think that is understanding how human brain works will help us to create better ai this is this is actually it is depend upon the total of approach of your understandings means how will approach to a particular topic uh, if there is a uh, one spot suppose i would like to s- go to yavla bus stand but there are four routes we can one aurangabad one nashik one from manmad something like that two to three and other from different areas if there are the four loop now it is your call how to approach your destination so this is your call if you want to uh, go faster way then you will choose the shortest path if you want to go for and uh, have some tea or have some lunch or have some dinner in the route we are looking for the good hotel so you will have the different path these are the approaches that we are looking in ai so the another questions can be occurs can intelligent behavior be described using simple intelligent principles such as logic or optimization or does it necessarily require to solving a large number of complete unrelated problems can intelligence can be reproduced using high level symbols similar to words ideas or does it require sub symbolic processing the following main approaches of ai first one is a cybernetics and brain simulation second is symbolic third one is sub symbolic fourth one is statistical now come to the cybernetics approach cybernetics come from the greek word meaning the art of steering the cybernetics grew from desire to understand the build system that can achieve goals with their complex human goals or just goals like maintaining the temperature of a room under changing conditions cybernetics more broadly encompasses the study of how system regulate themselves and take action towards goal based on the feedback from the environment generally cybernetic is nothing but how we drive our problem with the help of the ai now let's come to the second point is brain simulation brain simulation is the concept brain simulation is the concept of creating a functioning computer model of a brain or a part of the brain brain simulation projects intend to contribute to complete understanding of the brain and eventually also assist the process of treating diagnosing brain disease in 1940s 50s the number of researchers explored that the connection between neurology information theory and cybernetics so this is the brain simulation so means some amount of our electromagnetics of the brain wave can be connected with the help of the ai to the real world so this is they are crafting this way this is the cybernetics and brain simulation socket some of them built a machine that used the electronics network to exhibit rudimentary intelligence such as w gray walter stutters and johns hopkinson based many of the researchers gathered for meeting of the teleological society at princeton university and ratio club in england the first problem was building hardware and simulate neurological process requires too many components and it would be a physically hard to connect such a large numbers of neurons as a human has nowadays some scientists are getting also back to this approach now symbolic when access symbolic approach when the access to digital computers become possible in the middle 1950 ai research to begin explore the possibility that human intelligence could be reduced to symbol manipulations the research was granted in the three institutions 
Kranz Mellorone University, Stanford and MIT. These are the institute they are describing. During the 1916, symbolic approach had achieved at a great success at simulating high-level thinking in small demonstration programs. Approach based on cybernetics or new neural networks were abandoned or pushed into the background. The symbolic approach to the knowledge representation and the processing uses names to explicitly define the meaning of representation knowledge. Generally, symbolic representation is used to give some sort of symbol to the particular approach that will give a milestone or that will recognize the pattern. That is the symbolic approach. So this is the just a history of that symbolic approach where the new world is in sense is in 1976 describes the ai as the development of model using symbolic manipulation this is the symbolic approach symbolic is sub field of artificial intelligence that focuses on the high level symbolic human readable representation of the problem and logic search this is the tree presentation the symbolic apple now where it is origin structure or kind symbolic apple may be have a tree which may be consist of body stem which already consist of body stem and fruit so these are the parameters how the symbolic thing can be happen it in shorter way you store in the symbolic fashion this is how it is called some of sub symbolic artificial intelligence the set of alternative approach which does not exploit high level symbols such as mathematical optimization statistical classifier and neural network symbolic ai was the dominant paradigm of ai research in 1950s sub symbolic artificial intelligence here we can see this that is sub symbolic application is made up of that is stem consisting of 0.5 mm length root having point 22 mm diameter means everything is the fraction of numbers this is called sub symbolic it will use the with the help of the mathematical modeling that is a, is called sub symbolic approach so sub symbolic approach is also used in our mathematical calculations so how you can see this is the importance of the sub symbolic mathematical and the final and the next one is the statistical approach where we use this large amount of data sets into consider into small amount of data sets right and split it into this number of sets and the sets is represented with the help of the pie bars charts etc etc so the into the ppt in the ppt the statistical approach involves the defining phenomena in terms of numbers and then using numbers imply or deduce causes and effects statistical are key research tool of quantitative researchers so gather analyze interpret the data inform the numerical formation data something something like that so, so this is the 1990 they are research developer sophisticated mathematical tools to solve the super sub problems so this is the statistical based solving so this is the final slide for the statistical Uh, come to the next slides we are going to learn supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforced learning